Organisations like the two running this conference uh, are structures through which people make things happen. All contributions are useful, but as in most areas of life, some are of more significance than others. The award of life membership is the main mechanism by which the Australian Association for the Teaching of English, AATE, acknowledges and honours outstanding contributions. And it's worth noting just at this point that uh, whereas ALEA has a unitary national structure, AATE is a federation. So people who come to prominence at the national level, uh, in each case that already sits on top of very significant contribution to their uh, local state or territory organisation. Now, this spot in today's program is formally to confer life membership of AATE on Associate Professor Karen Money for her outstanding contribution to the organisation. The full citation is available in the program. Let me summarise the key elements of it. The award recognises the high quality of Karen's 15 years of continuous service on the AATE National Council. For five years she was the, the delegate of ETAQ, the English Teachers Association of Queensland. During that period she was the president of that state association and served as the co-convener of a very successful iteration of this joint conference with the theme of pleasure, passion and provocation. Uh, where would we be without alliteration, eh? That event was held on the Gold Coast in 2005. Karen's next senior role was as the editor of AATE's journal, English in Australia for a total of six years, three two-year terms. She made important changes to the management of the journal in that role and was responsible for significantly improve, improving its profile. Karen then served through the four-year cycle laid down by the AATE Constitution, uh, a year as president-elect, two years as president, and then a year as past president. This period was marked by clear and thoughtful leadership and harmonious management. For all of that, Karen, thank you very much on behalf of all members of AATE. And if I could ask you to come forward, please. I now have great pleasure in formally conferring AAT Life membership upon you and presenting this framed copy of the citation. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'll keep my comments very brief and you'll probably be glad to hear not in verse. Sorry. It's a very great honour to become a life member of AAT, and I'd like to thank AAT Council for bestowing life membership today. I'm truly thrilled. Becoming a life member of many organisations, particularly the political one, has connotations of being either very old, or as one of my colleagues said after reading the citation, very tired. So I'm more than grateful for Council for granting me this award while I'm alive, awake and fully able to appreciate the thrill. From the very beginning of my association with ETAC and then during my years of service with the AATE, I've regularly marvelled at the good fortune I've had to be part of a community and to serve in an association where people care passionately about English and are committed to, to enhancing English education at all levels. But as any leader knows, a president is only good as the su support she receives. And in this regard, I want to thank all council members and general managers, past and present, for their support and to acknowledge how much I've learned personally and professionally from their collective wisdom, expertise and experience. And I may be preaching to the converted here, but I'd like to echo Joe's comments this morning. I'd encourage ev anyone here who is not already a member of either AATE or ALIA to join. And if an opportunity arises for you to serve the association in some way, then seize it. I won't misquote JFK in this regard, but perhaps refer to that even more famous philosopher, Winnie the Pooh, who once says, 
You can't stay in your corner of the forest waiting for others to come to you. You have to go to them sometime. So please take any opportunity that arises to serve in an organization such as ours. You never know where the opportunity will take you, but the journey will always be interesting. It's been a joy and a privilege to be able to contribute to the association over the last 15 years or so. Thank you again for honoring me with this award. I'll do my best to continue to represent AATE and the English teaching profession according to the standards life membership represents. Thank you. Thanks,